Good afternoon! How you baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin? I'm doing And you hope me too. How y'all living, fam? It is, I don't even know what fucking day it is. The days have gone just like flying by, okay? It is Thursday up in this motherfucker. I hope everyone's having a great day, great night. Whenever y'all are watching this video all up and through here, look. Your girl needed to get some vitamin D. I had to get out of my house. I have been cooped up in my house for the last literally two weeks. Working on this fucking project, I am so, 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 so happy that I took the time to do it because it's something I've been wanting to do for a long ass time. However, you knew that was coming. Um, it was the most tedious and I mean frustrating thing that I've ever done on my own and worked on on my own in addition to the fact that I had to really devote myself to it so that being said your girl had to get out today I've been cooped up on that computer all day it is probably let's see it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon uh, y'all y'all know about the nail situation and uh, yeah I'm actually here to get my nails fixed and then I'm supposed to be meeting up with Lauren to have us a couple of beverages and because uh, that you guys haven't seen her in a while I've had a couple of meetups with her in between when I've been taking the days off from vlogging but you guys haven't seen her in a while so I will definitely get her on camera to say hello my throat was bothering me after the winery so I also wanted to save my throat a little bit and not do you know as much shooting and talking and shit because you know I talk a lot of my videos and I'm always like what's up y'all and when your throat's sore it's the worst thing ever in life so I had to take a little bit of time off but I'm happy now to have gotten my project damn near finished you guys will be hearing about it soon it may be already up by the time you guys see this vlog right here I'll let you guys know sometime in this video if that's the case um, but yeah, so I'm about to get this nail fixed. This nail, and then of course the nail that's on this. I'm actually vlogging from an old camera. One, because I didn't feel like bringing that big camera with me. And two, the uh, well, I'll tell you more. It's kind of technical, but with regard to the footage, the film that's on the newer cameras, they're just larger files. They take longer to import, longer to edit, longer to export. It's just probably one of the most tedious parts of having the nicer camera. So I'm just using the smaller camera today just for now, just so that I have the ease of editing the vlogs. Since over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be working on that project in addition to the other things that I already do, that y'all know I already do. So anyway, all right, let me get in here. I need to go grab... Uh, the tech that actually did my nails hopefully he's available and then I'm supposed to meet up with Lair next and maybe make a return at the stove I don't know if y'all can see me hold on let me check and see if you can hold up hold up hold up hold up we're gonna do a test of the camera because it's probably dark maybe I don't know hell Anyway, we are at Bravo at West County Mall. And your girl over here hiding like a mug. We're using the small camera. She trying to be on the low low. Say what's goody. Hey everyone. Look, I know y'all been asking specifically where she's been all this time. And she's here. We've actually gone out and met up for a couple of, well actually at least one other happy hour in the last couple weeks. Yes. Yep. But I didn't oh, vlog, I didn't vlog that day. Yeah, I know. I didn't vlog that day. What is it, Laredo? Cantina Laredo. Cantina Laredo in uh, Clayton. 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 Oh, Clayton. Yes, yes, yeah. It was cool. La bougie uh, Mexican food, but it was good. It was good. It was good. Yeah, real up. Not quite your El Maguey. Yeah, definitely not El Maguey level. But it was fun, we had a great time, and we are having, well, she had something, but she's done with hers. Mine done. Yeah, I had, what do I have? Raspberry, a raspberry, Black raspberry. martini? Black. Uh, shoot. Y'all know I love my, my berries black, <laughs> you know. Oh, really? <laughs> Black Black raspberry Cosmo. Yes, black raspberry Cosmo, and she had a I pineapple. Had a, I had the pineapple ginger flip, as well as the sangria rose. And they're yes. both very cool. Yeah, everything here at Bravo. We have a Bravo. It's so young. Yeah, she had the Caprese, 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 Caprese salad, some Italian shit. Yeah, some healthy shit. And then they brought us something to eat that was like a mistake in the uh, kitchen and it was free 99 So we were like, we like those. Yeah, we like those. So yeah. We're just hanging out. We've been shooting the shit, catching up and shit. Yes. And then I'm finna go home because Juice got me some chipotle, some chipotle, which I don't know if I'm gonna eat because we didn't had a couple snacks. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So I'm finishing this up, and she's got to go home soon. But I wanted to make sure that she had the chance to say hi because everyone's been asking about you. Yay! Yay! 
So yes, okay, we're gonna finish up and let her go so that she can go to her boo in there. What's up, yo? Okay, it's gonna take me a second to get used to using this camera because I can't see what you guys can see. So hopefully you guys can actually see me. I'm in front of lights. I'm waiting for my car because I actually valeted it because there's no parking whatsoever. Had a great time with Laren. Y'all, every time I hang out with Laren, it's always a ball. We just hung out, chilled. Um, like I said, we're at Bravo, that's where we are. And I don't even know if you guys could see that. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but we went for Juice's birthday last year, I wanna say, at Jay Gilbert's, which is right there, okay? And uh, that's at West County Mall. Anyway, it was good, very expensive. Very expensive, but good. Um, anyway, I'm just waiting on my car, I'm just sitting at a bench. And I'm about to go home. My baby got me some uh, chipotles. So I'm gonna go home, hang out with him for a little bit. I'm gonna call and see if he wants some wine because I've had a couple beverages. Um, but I don't know if, I mean, nothing major. I've been spreading it out over time. I've had water in between, it's all good. And they always dilute happy hour drinks. But I wanted to see if he wants anything from the stove before I head home. And then I'm gonna hang uh, with, the, with the hubby and uh, just chill. We have not, let's see, today is Thursday, so we haven't watched, um, we haven't watched Scandal, nor have we watched um, Empire to the First, so that's what we're gonna do probably this evening. I didn't get much sleep yesterday because I was working on that project, so we're going to just relax and I'm probably gonna hopefully fall asleep very easily this evening. And then it's the weekend, finally. So um, I gotta ask Juicy, we're gonna go to that party tomorrow night. I think I might've mentioned to you that our mentor invited us to a party tomorrow night. Um, and you know, when it comes to things like that, especially when your mentor invites you, you don't say no, but um, it depends. I don't know you know, how we're gonna feel tomorrow, so we'll see. Um, but if we do go, we will take you guys along with us. So yeah, um, for the next couple days, I might be vlogging on this camera. I hope it's okay. Um, I just wanna take a breather from the longevity of the importing process for that larger camera until I get some higher end software. And that's the next step for me after finishing this project to get just a higher end, just get higher end software that can take the larger files from the large camera. It just takes a long time to edit vlogs and it just makes it uncomfortable to edit the vlogs now. So, because it takes just that long. So, ooh, my car is here. So anyway, all right, let me go ahead and pay these people. I really should have gone in here first and um, have something for H&M that I need to return. So I may just, See if I can park, find a parking space and go into H&M real quick and exchange this jean jacket or jean shirt that I thought fit, but I needed an extra size larger because of the hips. So I'm gonna see what's up. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit. What's up, y'all? Okay, quick outfit of the day. I haven't given you guys one of these on this channel in a long ass time. Don't laugh at the outfit of the day. It is a mixture of three seasons up in this bitch, okay? St. Louis has a funny way of uh, giving us weather when it comes down to this time of year so you're going to notice i have a little bit of winter a little bit of summer a little bit of fall and a little bit of spring up in this bitch okay and my hair matches my boots don't ask you'll see in about two seconds bam okay sorry if the lighting is off i'm not used to using this camera anymore anyway so i've got it off yeah disregard the fact that my nipples are hard <sighs> it's what happens when it's kind of on the chilly side and I spilled something on myself at dinner, so that's what you're saying. Anyway, blue hair, off the shoulder top, okay? As you guys can see here, yeah. all right, blue. Oh, look, the, the, the camera's blue. It matched the hair, ironically enough, and just some big hoops. Y'all know I'm a hoops girl. Some shorts, okay, some simple shorts, and some blue boots. These are like my favorite little go-to boots in the fall. They're kind of falling right now, but... It's really actually cute in person. I just wanted to do something kind of different. Y'all know I'm weird and I like random shit. And my boots match my hair. If you were with me in real life, you'd notice how close they match right now. The lighting is off because I'm in Macy's. I actually came here for the sole purpose of trying to exchange this shirt um, from H&M. I'm gonna show it to you guys because, um, well, some of you guys on Periscope actually saw, you, saw me um, showcase this shirt. It is like everything, it's perfection and all of that shit. But, um, it doesn't fit the right way. So, let me show you. Basically, it's um, just a long, 
um, three quarter length sleeve shirt, a denim j shirt, which is what I wanted. I've been on the hunt for a denim shirt. The problem with it is that um, once it gets down to the hip area, you already know I got some hips, okay? And if you don't know now, you know, okay? So anyway, here is the shirt that I'm returning to H&M. It's a size 12 and I really need a size 14 the most adorable denim shirt possible the problem with it is is that like i said the hips don't lie and they were like bitch they lied to you and they thought you could wear a 12 because that's what the size is and if it's anything that goes over my hips or anything that essentially has to cover the boobs or the titties or at least allow room for the titties to breathe let me make sure i don't leave nothing all right, make sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, anything that's gonna have to allow my triple D, double D titties to breathe, um, I could I could forget it, okay? Because um, this bitch wears a 14 in these types of shirts, especially because this shirt doesn't give, it has no stretch, so yeah. I feel like I'm old school now, going back to the small vlog cameras to vlog, but, oh, y'all, I am actually going to probably text Gabe from Gabe and Babe TV. Hey boo boo, you watching? And I'm gonna have to ask them what they've done. I could have sworn they use the same software that I use for um, importing the vlog footage or just importing footage in general using that camera. We have the same vlog camera and um, I'm just having a hard time trying to just get that footage without spending all day doing. When I say if I have a 30 minute video for the vlog channel, I promise y'all, it'll take all day to uh, upload. I'll only be able to upload four videos, four snippets of videos, and then I'll have to wait for that to import, and that's only if all four of them import, and then I'll have to import the next four snippets of video. It's really time consuming, so I said for this weekend, I'm gonna just go back to this camera for now um, until I figure out what I need to do. And it might mean that I just need to reduce the size of the file, of how it shoots on the camera I just don't know how to do it so in the meantime between time we're gonna figure it out I'm probably gonna text Gabe and see if she has a remedy to the solution remedy to the oh I'm tired oh hey y'all hear the music what's going on what is going on hold on we in West County Mall they don't know nothing about this shit they don't know nothing about this shit in West County hold up Oh shit, look! Hold up! They talking about some hotline bling. What the fuck they know about that shit out here? Hola! There's a fashion show going on, y'all. They must have had some niggas on stage. Hey! Okay, so, ain't nobody got time. Look, I'm trying to come up in here and be up easy and uh, make my way to H&M to return this damn shirt or at least find something maybe find the same size you never know not same size a better size anyway yeah whatever the fuck i said before i showed y'all the damn fashion show didn't make no damn sense but you know what i'm trying to get at i've had a drink y'all and it's been a long week okay so cut me some slack anyway so yeah y'all huh? we're trying to cut it cut through and get to these parts I need to get here real quick so I can get back home and cuddle with my baby. He done brought me some food, but yeah. Lauren and I had a great time. It was so much fun catching up, shooting the shit. Y'all get this. We are headed, well I was headed to get my nails uh, fixed. And on the way in, I saw a car, like a little minivan, with two little kids' heads sticking out of the window. You know, they're like waving at everyone who passes by. And I promise y'all on everything I love, I swear they didn't have any adult supervision in that car. Like, they must have gone to whatever store was in the proximity, whoever the adult was. I didn't see adult an adult to the first. Y'all, I stood around until I could see an adult. They finally came out, like, because I was finna be like, y'all gonna have these little, it looked probably like a four and a six year old in the car by themselves. Y'all, y'all know I catch some funny stuff. But I was finna go in there and that, I'm not trying to be the whistleblower, but these are kids, okay? So I was like, you know, I need to make sure they're okay. So I didn't even wanna go in there. And I stopped myself from going in there until 
I saw an adult come out and I was gonna give it a few minutes. And if I didn't see anybody come out, I was gonna go up in that, uh, in, the, in the nail salon and just be like, hey, we may need to call the popos or whatever. It's not that I thought that they were abandoned. I just feel like when you're four years old, you shouldn't be left in nobody's car by yourself. Them kids looked young as fuck. And I'm like, there's no adult supervision at all. So finally the motherfucker came out. I mean, it was just a few minutes, but you know, a few minutes is enough time for kids to get their asses in trouble anyway. Yeah, so that's what happened to me when I was heading into the nail salon. And I was like, man, but I stood there, so it was kind of like having adult supervision. I was like, if I saw anything funny, I'd have stopped them from doing it because it's the right thing to do, you know what I mean? But, yeah, motherfuckers, boy, I'm telling you. Anyway, the promised land. Oh, we might have to go into another spot too. I'll show you guys in a second. Let me walk up in here and see if they have this shirt or something similar to it. If not, it's going back to the stuff. I'll be back. Okay, so I feel like, because I can't find a denim shirt to the first in this bitch, and even online at H&M, um, I haven't been able to find my size. They sell out of the 14s and the 12s the fastest. Um, H&M has a tendency to run small when it comes to certain things. However, I'm over here in the men's section, and they have a cute denim shirt in here. I think it's the men's section. I can't tell, they're skinny jeans, and you know, these skinny jeans nowadays look like girls' jeans, but anyway, they have like cute little shirts like this. Now you know they're not cut to suit hips, so I'd almost have to get like a XL or something if I found one in my size, but I don't know. I'm kind of like, I've been wanting a denim shirt forever. If you guys follow me on Periscope, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about because I showed you guys this shirt that I just got from H&M amongst some other shirts too but the other shirts worked out fine it's just this one that didn't and I have I just I just want a cute denim shirt to rock real simple nothing major leggings boots some a different color pair of um, denim mix and match denim I just like the look and I haven't been able to find one that fits anyway they have an XL which is technically juicy size, but I'd almost have to get that size for it to fit me. So, I don't know. I'm gonna see if that works out. This one's really cute too, y'all. It's black and white, like a gray denim. It's cute, right? I mean, hopefully you guys can see it. That's really cute. Um, but I'm high-waisted, so shirts like that I have to try on. And I know I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to try this on regardless, but, ooh, I think I see shirts, I think I see shirts. Oh, hold on, hold on. Look, I'm about to put this shit down someplace I can focus because what the fuck? Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Put it right over here. I just, I'm in the proximity, we good. Okay, so they have some denim stuff, but they're not long sleeve. I want long sleeve because we're about to head into this winter time. Man, y'all have no idea what the winter time is like out here. It fucking sucks. I'll be honest, that shit's whack as fuck. It's freezing out here. We've been blessed with the weather that we've been having as of yet. It's been great. See, this is the thing I'm talking about. They have a 10. They don't have my size, so. Eight. Four. Ain't nobody wearing no damn flow. I'm telling you, these hips, these hips ain't never lie, not never. Ew, I don't want this. Look at that. That's not cute. Hold on, I'll show you guys in the front. That's not cute. I don't like it. With the fringe of the... I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan. Alright, hold on. Anyway, y'all y'all know this is the time of year that I do the most. You barely see me shop until this time of year. And it's not even that I like this time of year, but it's just fun to play with fashion this time of year. So, yeah, I only saw one top in here that I might be able to get away with uh, but I absolutely have to try it on and this might be the same shirt I just had I really think it is all right let me see what else I can find or get into and I'll let you know what happens with all this shit y'all know they don't make these things for black people right I mean even anyone of color has got some thickness some girth to them okay I just got fun with Juice. He says what's up to y'all, by the way. You'll see him in a little bit. I'm actually gonna be heading home now. Only thing I wanted to do was exchange this. 
So anyway, it does turn out I'm gonna have to get the guy's top. Um, and this isn't even suited for hips, but because I got the largest size, it actually works. So let me show you what it looks like. Bam, all right. It's kind of big, and I don't have a bra on, so keep that in mind, so the bra will take some of the, the girth, okay? But the problem that I have is the titties, as you guys already know, and I have no bra on, so clearly, yeah, zero bra, okay? So no bra on or whatever, um, and I'm clearly wearing shorts, and I wouldn't wear them with shorts. But, let me take, I always tuck my shirt in. Um, but, this actually does decent, so let me go ahead and give you the, see? My shorts are there, so this actually works. Because um, really, I'm gonna probably wear it with some, and I actually like the color of the denims; it works out great. Oh my god, I love these nails. Anyway, um, look how pretty they are. So yeah, I just want to really wear them with some leggings and some like boots on some chill type shit, you know. And of course, the bra is gonna take a little bit of this up, you know. So it's gonna take some of it, but yeah. Anyway, really simple. Um, I have another size here. This is $34.99. Uh, if in case you guys are looking at H&M, I'm going to exchange this. You might see the lace disregard. But yeah, there it is. That way you guys can see it. But yeah, I like it. And it's long enough because you guys know I have long arms. And the problem that I run into all the time with these shirts is the length of the arms are always kind of short. Um, I just have really extra long arms. Another shirt that I love, love, love is this because you guys know I love stripes. Only problem is, it's a size, I think it says 14. I don't even think it's gonna fit me. It looks like it's uber short, like it looks short. I might try it on to just see, because I love plaid, anything with stripes, and I love red. And I didn't get one last year that has red. Um, a couple of you guys on Instagram hit me and said that the minute you guys saw me show you guys that shirt that I got from Target, y'all went out and got it. I'm so happy you guys did. Um, I love that motherfucker. I have been like rocking the fuck out of it, whether it's been rocked as a shirt or as just like a tie around my waist type situation. I've always wanted that print. It's very hard to find, especially in larger sizes. Every time I try, I try to look, I can never find them. So anyway, if you guys have the chance, it's Massimo. I think. Anyway, um, I'll leave the link for it down below if I remember to do so, so you guys can get your hands on it also. Anyway, all right, let me get out of here. All right, we are out this bitch. Time to go and cuddle with my baby. I just talked to him, I was like, dude, I'm coming home, I promise I'm on my way. I got it. I was like, I'm at H&M, he goes, oh shit. I said, no, 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 I'm just exchanging something. I swear y'all think that's the only place I shop. It is not, but, I do a lot of my shopping online and then when it comes to like regular ass let me wear this on some humbug type shit let me wear this to just go run some errands on some type levels with juice it's usually H&M or the more inexpensive places it just doesn't make sense to spend a whole bunch of money a whole bunch of coin on some plaid shirts to rock during the winter time and you'll see me wear a lot of plaid and stripe type shirts during this time of year because I love them. So, anyway, there really isn't anything else left that I have to do. I've got some jeans coming in the mail. Ordered five pairs of jeans. Here's the kicker though. The company's actually sending them my way. Supposedly these jeans have some stretch to them. However, I'm not really sure if, uh, I don't know. I don't really know if they're gonna really fit me because I'm hippie, y'all. I mean, I'm a thick woman. I just stay my ass at the gym all the time. And I'd probably be thicker if I didn't do that, but I'm thick. So I don't know how these are gonna fit. I got the largest size that they have. A lot of the people that have done reviews on this company, um, unless they lying, which could very well be a possibility. Hell, if we, we don't know if they telling the truth. Um, they're smaller than me, so um, I don't know. But anyway, I got the largest size they had in the stow, so we're gonna see how these jeans fit, and uh, I will let you guys know how they go, and show you guys in the lookbook lookbook they haven't shown up yet. I just got the uh, email saying that they are just coming in the mail, so I'm just trying to find some fun shirts um, just to wear on some chill type levels. Another thing I want to do this year is, and I really should look to see if they have any in here while I'm just here, but I don't want to spend any more time in the mall. So I guess the next time I come up in here, I will. 
I do want to look to see if there are any cute sweatsuits. During the winter time when it's freezing, that's what I love to wear. Sweats and comfortable jeans. And uh, so yeah, I'll probably make it a point to do that too. Anyway, before I completely talk your ear off, I'm about to head to the co-op and see my baby.